this here. So here we've got some numbers, uh, x and y, and we want to uh, determine a correlation between them. So let's just simply do a scatter plot of these things. So I highlight it with the left mouse button pressed, click on insert, go on to the insert scatter and choose this one here. So this gives me the uh, scatter plot. And what we can do is we can add a trend line. So we right click on one of the points here, uh, which will open this menu. And uh, we can add a trend line, which comes up over there. And we can display the equation and we can display an R squared value here. And let's uh, pull that nicely to where we can see it. So here we can call this a uh, scatter plot. Scatter plot. Uh, we might want to change the x axis. So we go into design. We add chart elements here. So axis title. Uh, we can call the primary horizontal axis the uh, x values, whatever these x values are. And we can also go to the axis title primary vertical value. And we can say y values, again, whatever these y values are. We get it nicely formatted here. So we've got uh, a nice plot. But of course, what we want to actually do is we want to also find out what are the errors, the uncertainties uh, for our data here, uh, especially the uncertainties for the um, for the slope. So let me write this quickly down. So uncertainty uncertain for slope, for the gradient, and intercept. And intercept. Because very clearly what we can see here is that the line of best fit is just a one, uh, one line uh, and for one particular uh, experiment, but we can imagine that this just simply represents one sample out of an almost infinite number of samples that we could have taken here uh, for our measurements. And we want to know actually what is uh, the uncertainty in our measurement. And to do that, uh, Excel allows a really uh, neat function. And so what we do, with this uh, function, it's called the line estimate function. So let me let me write this down here. It's the line est function, and it takes four arguments. So first, it needs the y values. Then it needs the x values. Then it uh, asks whether we want to set the intercept as zero and we don't want that. So we give that uh, a one, which uh, means uh, true. And uh, it also asks if we want to have more than just one statistics and we set this to one as well. So I would always recommend have this as one, one when you use the line est function. And the other thing is the linest function is an array function. So we cannot just simply press enter. What we need to do is we need to press control plus shift plus enter. At the same time when we finish with it. And we need to specify it an area uh, where we want this line est function to produce the output. So I just simply highlight with the left mouse button here this area. And now I just simply 
uh, put into the uh, uh, equation editor equals line est and it comes up uh, with the suggestion so double click on that so it asks me for the known y values so these are these are values here comma the known x values these are these one here and then uh false uh do we set the intercept to zero no we want it calculated normally and we also so we need to set this as one and we need to set this one we want to have additional regression statistics so close the bracket and here comes the trick you need to press Control shift enter in windows and what we get is a number of um, statistics here and it's not immediately obvious what these statistics are so let me write this down the first one here this is actually the slope so this is the slope and we can see this here this value is the same as our slope here this one here this value here that is the intercept this is the intercept this value here is the uncertainty the standard uncertainty standard uncertainty for the slope and this value here is the standard uncertainty standard uncertainty for the intercept and these are really the things that we uh, were looking for. Um, this value here, if you are interested, that gives us the R squared value. And we see that here again, that's the R squared value. And uh, this value is the, gives us the, uh, the standard error for the regression line and in excel this would be abbreviated as standard error for y and x this gives us here and that uh, value is quite uh, important as well this value also gives us the degrees of freedom for our um, for our regression line and in this case the degrees of freedom for a regression line is given as the the number of points n minus two so we have one two three four five six data points x and y and because we are using two unknown parameters x and y we need to subtract two of these parameters so we have a degrees of freedom is actually 6 minus 2 equals 4 so what we can uh, now do is we can say uh, for our regression line the slope is 0. 6571 plus minus the standard error of 0 0.216 so that's the that's the slope and the intercept is 1.2 eight six six seven plus minus the standard uncertainty of zero point 
eight, four, two, five. And obviously we would not report it like that. We would report the uncertainty only to one significant figure. So that would be 0 0.2. So 0 0.2, so plus minus 0 0.2. And we would use the same number of decimals then in our measurement. Uh, that would be this one here. So we would round it up and we would say it is 0 0.7 plus minus 0 0.2 for the slope, for the gradient. And we do the same procedure for the intercept. So plus minus, we would give that to one, deci uh, for, to one significant figure. So that's 0 0.8. And we would use again one decimal, decimal place for reporting of the intercept. So that would be one decimal place and we would round that up to 1.9. 1.9 plus minus 0 0.8. That would be the standard uncertainty for our intercept. And of course, we can expand these uncertainties, but I show you that in a different video. I hope this makes sense. Thank you very much for watching.